tokens! It's a great currency to have here in Rec Room. Quite a few ways to get them. They make the game a lot more fun. But there's a problem that I've seen countless people yap about already. But like... What the hell are these prices? This all started when I wanted to check out this Destiny 2 collab, right? I saw the posters. I was like, hey, you know, these clothes look pretty cool. Let's go buy some. So I pulled up to this map. I was super excited to check them out. But then I just realized how expensive everything is. Like 9,000 tokens for some pants? What even is this, bruh? Like, don't get me wrong. Some of these items do look really sick. But the fact that a brother needs to spend 12,000 tokens for a single gun skin, especially when they used to give out free skins every week during the weekly, like, bro, Rec Room actually tripping. So to prove how much all these things cost, I decided to do some math and add up all the tokens it would cost to get everything. So all the Destiny 2 clothes items add up to 177,080 tokens. And all the weapon skins add up to 48,000 tokens. To so put them together, and that's 225,080 tokens. But... When you convert these to real US dollars, taking the best value of the tokens packages you can get with real money, this costs $321.54. And you know what's crazy? I could probably get the same amount of Destiny 2 merch in real life with $321.54. So I'd like to introduce Slat Shopping Show. All right, so with $321.54, you can buy a $91 Destiny 2 hoodie, six Destiny 2 baseball caps worth $6 each, $16 socks, a $21 keychain, $70 controller holder. Shit, let's make it two hoodies, why not? Extra $40. A $25 Destiny notebook, and let's add another $25 t-shirt. You can get all this apparel for the same price as those in-game items. And not to mention, all this Amazon stuff is pretty overpriced too. But then, I remember that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles quest came out recently. So let's check out their prices because they're even worse. All right, so just like the Destiny 2 collab items, I decided to check out these tokens. And guess what the first one I saw was? 21,000 tokens. That's 30 US dollars. You can get a raincoat for less than $30 in real life. Not to mention, there's literally an identical raincoat in the item shop for like 500 tokens. But guess what? This isn't even the worst one because the prices of the actual turtle costumes, 30,000, 30,000 tokens for a turtle shell. Where was the executive decision making here? This is $42, but that's not even all because there's five of these. Now, if you add all these prices up of everything in this store right here, that's 424,000 tokens, which is $605.71 for everything here. I'm not gonna go buy random stuff again to prove that it's expensive. You know it's a lot of money. You can buy a Quest 3 with that money, so that's like all I'm gonna say. Now you might be wondering a couple things. Maybe something like, man, Slat, stop complaining, bro. I see how many tokens you got. Uh, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I'm super grateful, and I'm also in a very privileged position to be saying this because I make maps in Rec Room. I have some inventions and some custom shirts, so I have a token income. But this is how many tokens I've saved up for a whole year. That's 12 whole months, and I still can't get the whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set. Oh, Slat, people can just grind the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle quest and get shell bucks and buy it all for free. But guess what? According to another YouTuber, Gradino, they calculated that you would need 427 games of grinding, which is four days of straight playing. That is just not possible. And I'm not even gonna lie, it's low-key kind of like a boring all quest. Like, I played it maybe like four times or something. I don't really like replaying it 424 more times. And it's not even tokens you get, bro. You get like shell bucks. Man, what is this currency? I mean, Rec Room even added a store button to my watch. Since when was this here, bro? And it's not just the collab items that are really expensive. I mean, whose idea was it to make bubble tea 900 tokens? But that's not even a big deal because they're still selling lore items. Man, what is this? The teller garb? The teller is still relevant in this era? Also, man, this is the weirdest mug ever. I would never cop. Also, the amount of different reskin consumables there are today are crazy. Who invented pixel pop? Actually, another thing they do is they slap on that limited time blue bar or something. It's to kind of give you the incentive to buy them quickly. But if you actually take a look, they're literally a hundred days from going out. How is that limited time? That's like three months. I've got one more story also. You see this steampunk satchel right here? 6,000 tokens. But doesn't it look a little familiar? Because the same item was released years ago and that's 90% cheaper. It's literally the same thing with just a different color slapped on it. And they just upcharged it so much. 
not worth i also fully understand the argument that it's literally optional but i will say i'm sure there's a lot of people today who still find the satisfaction in rec room by collecting many clothing items and enjoying their customization features this easily can be something that frustrates the everyday player you know it lets them express themselves or whatever you know make their in-game experience more enjoyable a lot of peer pressure too that's the thing like maybe they see their friend drop a hundred dollars for something and they feel like they're pressured to do the same because it looks really cool but at the end of the day i think we can all agree that these prices bro these prices are dumb so yeah copper drop Drop! If you want to see a similar video where I yap about the most disgusting things about Rec Room's custom shirts, uh, you'll enjoy this video right here. It's like a similar style to this video. Uh, yeah, go watch.